All right, so today I have something to talk about that, well, I'm going to call it toxicity in fandom, but I'm not quite sure that's the right word. Maybe you could help me find a better term. Um, because I really also hate the term mansplain, though often that is the correct term, I'm sorry. I hate using that term, but it can be definitely applied to certain things. Um, lately I've noticed a lot of disrespect in fandoms. Like if you go and you discuss the new Marvel shows, if you have a differing opinion than say the majority, like how I didn't really care for Winter, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, then you're kind of dissed on. And that sucks. Or if you might say, argue, you know, why'd they rewrite this like they did in WandaVision? Um, well, that part was not important. You can be very much dismissed because you have a different opinion. And I really, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of being put down because the men say this. And it is the majority of men who put women down in fandom, as I've noticed, especially in the Star Wars fandom. Um, Marvel's been a little more welcoming, especially in cosplay, but for the most part, I've walked away from the Star Wars community online because, like, I had this guy who, it was a guy, he literally told me that he didn't like the new Disney sequels, so he's going to bash them at every chance he gets. Because I asked him, I said, why do you keep bashing these when you know there are people who like them? And I'm like, that's not an argument. If you had a valid reason why you didn't like them, then that's an argument. But just to say because you didn't like them, you're going to continue bashing on people who do, that's not right. And I, I run into that quite often lately, especially in the Star Wars. And that's just, come on, have a little respect for differing opinions. I am, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. I am tired of losing communities based upon politics and differing opinions and because of fandom. It's bull. It's absolute bull. We should learn to respect everyone's opinion in fandom because fandom is about being inclusive. It is not about dividing. It is not about saying, you know, person A and person B, you know, we're going to divide it. There's room for everyone in fandom. Like, take the Star Wars, for example. I understand, you know, it's a very divisive community. I know, I know. Um, in fact, I kind of walked away from the Star Wars cosplay community because they are so gung-ho about accuracy, and I'm not. I mean, if you've seen my songs cosplay lately, you know I'm not all about accuracy, all right? But that's a whole nother argument about cosplay but for now in this part we're going to talk about how it's not fair how in the star wars community if you don't you know bash upon the new sequels then people don't like you if you don't immediately assume you know all the extended universe books are immediately canon then you're like bashed on and it's like you know what the extended universe is wonderful. It's fascinating. And I really wish Disney would use some of it because it's, it's so massive. It's got so much to it. But they didn't. They chose to do what they wanted. And there's nothing we can do about that. It is what it is. And I admit, the sequel trilogy has its faults. It really does. Like, it, but as movies, even as Star Wars movies, they're good movies. They do not, however, and this is their biggest fault, they don't really conclude the whole saga as a whole. And I wish they did, but they don't. And that sucks. And I think their biggest issue is they had like three different directors and a million different writers and no one had any idea what they wanted to do and they just kept going. And that was their, probably their biggest problem because they didn't have a set idea of what to do in each movie in the trilogy. But that is just my opinion. And I can have that opinion. You can have your opinion. Like, for example, I don't like Clone Wars. I don't care one iota about Ahsoka, what is it, Asaka, Ahsoka. I don't care. I never have. But you know what? I know people who love that character. And I don't bash upon them for liking that character. Because you have the right to like a character. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean you don't like it. 
Quite frankly, lately, the most welcoming community I have found has been Harry Potter, and even that. <laughs> but anyway, and then, you know, like I've mentioned, the Marvel shows, and Star Wars, and now I'm going to talk about Harry Potter, which, of course, has been very div divisive lately over certain tweets from people who have been involved or created Harry Potter. And I'm not going to get into that whole debate there, because people have the right to their own opinion. But lately, that's been the most welcoming community of all. And that's saying a lot for a community that's as divided as Harry Potter is currently. I mean, I look at what I love. I love Star Wars, and I love Marvel, and I love Harry Potter. And I don't understand why there is such a lack of respect in these communities for other people. I mean, why? Why can we not respect Canon is what canon is. You don't have to like it. You can rewrite it. That is what fan fiction is for. And I'm going to be doing a video about fan fiction coming up soon. Um, so you can have your head canon of whatever you want. I mean, why? That's why not. <laughs> That's what head canons are for. You can ignore canon entirely and say, hey, this is what I think happened and that's how I'm going to play it. Okay, you can do that. I mean, why not? That is what headcanons are about. That's what fan fiction is for. That's what fan videos are for. That's even, to some extent, what cosplay is for. But you have to respect everybody's opinion. Now, if they have one that's non-canon, I can see, you know, you might say, you know what, that's not really happened. But they still have the respect to go, you know what, I want that to happen and that's how I'm going to headcanon it. Okay. I mean, like, you know, I read a lot of fan fiction, and a lot of people really like slash fiction. I'm not a fan of slash fiction unless the character is actually gay in canon, but each their own. I mean, why not? You can do what you want. But basically, I just, I really am really saddened by the communities that I have grown to enjoy and love being torn apart by the lack of respect on both sides. I mean, I lost a nitty community that I've been a part of for 10 years over politics. And I'm watching a similar thing happen in my fandom communities. And it's not just politics this time. It's also, it's also fandom because people don't like canon and they're just like, well, I don't want that. But you, you don't have to accept it. You don't have to like it. It is canon. I'm sorry. You can do whatever you want with your own opinion. You can not like the Rise of Skywalker for a myriad of reasons, but you still should respect those that do. And that's okay. And you know what? As a movie, it's not a bad movie. As the final movie in a giant saga, it didn't really conclude much. But, you know, I went to opening night. I was really excited about it. And I respect that. That not everyone liked it. That's cool. You can have that opinion. And maybe this is really just becoming more of a rant than anything. I tried to write notes. It didn't really go well. But I am really tired of people like being condescending toward others just because their opinions don't match what they think should be. I'm sorry. Why? Canon is canon. You don't have to like it. But, you know, I just, I don't get it. Why is there such a lack of respect? Is it because we grew up in the era of participation trophies? I don't know. But I'm tired of it. And I think everyone should just be given some freaking respect and let people like what they like. That's it. That's all you need to do. Just let people like what they like. Is it that hard? Really? Okay. Rant over. After all, I am Nerdy Duck Rants. And I had a rant. And I really need to.